Big Money Brown TV, RRT Posse YouTube. If you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. I release scheduled videos every Monday, 12 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time, but I also release some unscheduled videos throughout the week. Now, if you're returning, hey, welcome back. I appreciate all of the support. Thank you. Today's video, Arterial Blood Gas Kits. What's inside, which ones I like, the different ones, the ones that's dangerous, the ones to stay away from. I'm going to give you all the game on arterial blood gas kits. All you got to do is keep watching. A huge part of respiratory therapy is drawing ABGs. Everywhere you go is different hospitals that use different ABG blood gas kits. I'm going to show you some kits that I've used and I'm going to show you the ones that I prefer to use. Number one, the top ABG kit that I love to use is this one right here. Bam! Top ABG kit right here. Provent. 466. Don't forget 466. This is my top go-to ABG blood gas kit. And over here you have the contents right there. I'm gonna show you, but it also labels everything that's in this blood gas kit for you. So, when using this blood gas kit, I already know I have my own special way of how I like to go about it. First things first, I open here. It has a pull tab. I pull from here. I have everything set out by the patient's arm. So I open all this up. Bam. Got my needle. Blood gas needle. Actual needle, yes. This is the actual needle that you use to draw blood gas. My bag. I open this up, put this on the side. I get my bag. Open it up. Open this up. Shake it. And I get this ready. And I place this at the patient's bedside. So bomb, that's over there. I then grab the alcohol pad. Open this up. Clean the patient's radial artery. Right here, radial. Right up in here. Yeah, this is after finding it though. So you'll clean this once you find it. I clean that. I get that. You want to scrub really hard. You want to try to see some dirt on there. But you feel me? I'm a clean, I'm a clean individual. But you want to try to scrub that hard and you see a little dirt. I then I let this dry. Before sticking a needle in someone's arm. I let this alcohol dry because that will burn. I get my band-aid ready. Bam, open up your band-aid. I leave one side still attached and one side unattached. See that? One side attached. And I like hang it on the side of the patient's bed. For this video, I'm gonna put it just right here. Alright then. I will put my my cloth, which I'm going to use to stop the blood once the needle is taken out, on the patient's arm up here. So I know exactly that once I'm done, I take out my needle, bam, I get this and I put that there. I know exactly where it's at. Now, before I begin, I go to, I do 1.5 worth of blood. I do 1.5. I've never been told an exact number to do. I do 1.5 mLs, half of the syringe. Some people go all the way up here. They get all that, like, come on, that's too much blood to me. That's you're being ridiculous. Some people go right here. Yeah, that's, same, that's all the blood I need. But if there's a clot, if the blood has been sitting too long, if it doesn't take, now you got to go back and stick the patient again because this is all you have. Now, when I go right here, I know no matter what, I'm safe. I get the blood cut, I can shake it out, everything is good. You then. You see this? The needle. The actual bevel of the needle 
has to be up. I do it up in a way I turn it while it's in here. It's been a while. <laughs> so the reason I love this needle syringe is it has this guard right here. This is gonna limit the likelihood of you poking yourself when you close the needle and secure it once you're done using it. So after you draw the blood, you go in there, you find it, you draw it, bingo, you got the blood. When you close this, it's nice and simple. Bam. That's it. Safety first. You then will take this off. Blood is in here. You would then cap it and squeeze up a little bit until the blood hits the top of this cotton piece. Until the blood hits the top of this cotton piece right there. And then you got your bag. Then go. You got your patient label, which is also included in the bag. Patient name, date, time, test, Allen's test, all of that. So this is why I like to use that ABG blood gas kit because it has that protective device on it. It comes with a band-aid, it comes with gauze, it comes with alcohol pads. This ABG blood gas kit has everything in it that you'll need. But every blood gas kit doesn't have that. Randy, what do you mean? I'm gonna show you more blood gas kits. Keep watch. Bam! Another blood gas kit, which is different from the one before. But it looks the same. But if you check this number up here, it's not. It's different. It has different contents inside. What's different about it? We're going to see right now. Okay. In here, you have your needle. Only thing that's different, it doesn't come with a guard. There's no guard on here. So how are you going to close that needle when you're done? Stay patient, my friend. Slowly but surely, grasshopper. You got a bag. Same thing. Alcohol pad, band-aid. This is key, gotta have your band-aid. Got your gauze to collect the, have your gauze. After using this needle, once you're done using this, you stuck the patient. To then cover up this needle and protect yourself from an accidental poking situation, you have to use this. You have to place this needle in this red device. This is a hazard in itself. I got more chance of a likelihood of poking myself doing this than I am drawing the ABG from the patient. So, what you gotta do is, this is why this is one of my least favorite ABG kits to use for this reason. This has to go in there. And then you have to twist this off from here, put this in a sharps container, then cover it up with your blue cap and push up a little bit. So that blood gas kit has some of the same, has most of the same items as the first blood gas kit I showed you. Only difference is that orange protective guard that's nice and easy to click and it hides the needle and you less likelihood of poking yourself. With that, you're literally going into the danger zone by trying to cap that needle. But that's not my least favorite. We're coming, just keep watching. The least favorite is coming up. With all these different blood gas kits, I would have to say this blood gas kit right here is one of my least favorite. Inside of here, 
All of you, all you have, all of you have is a needle and a needle cap device. And the cap for the blood. You don't have no alcohol pads, no gauze, no bandage, no bag. You literally, you literally just have a needle and a cap device. You have to then go around and search for the remaining condiments that you need. For the remaining contents that you'll need to draw the blood gas. You gotta go find the gauze. You gotta go get the tape. You gotta get the alcohol pads. You gotta get a bag. You gotta get a patient label. Like, come on, man. Like, who wants to be running around doing all this when you gotta go and draw blood? Some kids, all you have. During the COVID pandemic, I saw kits where all you had was this. The syringe. No needle, no cap, no sharps cover for your sharp needle. Nothing. All you had was this. You had to go find a needle. Had to go find a cap. Had to go find an alcohol pad, bandage, gauze, tape. This is the worst. This is all you had. Speaking of ABG kits that only come with needles, while in Texas, while helping out during the COVID pandemic, I came across an ABG kit that I had never used ever in the state of Florida. This one right here. With this kit, all it has is the needle, syringe, and a cap device. So you gotta go find your own Alcohol pad, gauze, bandage, and bag. But the unique thing is about this ABG kit was the way in which you covered your needle after using it. So here it is. First ABG kit, I, first blood gas, first needle I seen that had a BB in it. It has like a golden BB. Can you see that? I'm trying to show you, but it won't. Maybe if I, you see that? It has like a golden BB in it. Yeah, you see that golden BB. So, the unique thing is about this, and I had to learn, because I've never used this, I had to learn how to use this on a fly during a COVID-19 crisis in Texas. Hey man, I got all those Texas stories coming, trust me, it's gonna get wild and crazy. So after using this, to cover up this needle, you put your thumb right here on this edge point. Your thumb goes here. This is dangerous in itself as well. You push this in and you slide up. Let me see. It's been like, yeah. So you push this in with your thumb and it releases that device goes up and it covers the needle. But see, you see this? That's, see how that's going? Like it ain't the safest, but that's how you do it. And once you go up, you can't come down. Like, it can't come down and you have to, yeah. To take this whole thing off, you gotta come from the base. And you take it off from here. And now the needle is covered and you still have your blood remaining here. The cap for, the, for capping the blood is completely different from any other I've seen. You got this little device here. You have to place this on here. Bam, and just squirt your blood up just a little so this fills up. But the blood could actually overflow from here. With this device on top, the blood can't overflow from the top. Man, they got me crispy. I want you to see this though. With this on top, the blood can't overflow. But from here, it can overflow from the top of this. So yeah. This was very unique and I had to like learn how to use this on the fly in the middle of a pandemic. I did it, I managed because I'm RRT Posse certified. Yeah. And that completes this video. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos about respiratory therapy equipment, drop down in the comments and let me know and I'll see what I can do. I can probably do like nebulizers, 
medication, showing you the actual medication packages, all that kind of stuff. Like RRT Posse, I got us. Reach one, teach one, so on and so forth. I show you, you show them. We just gonna keep like RRT Posse, you know, united we stand, divided we, you know what I'm saying, man. Thanks for watching. Any more exclusive personal content that you would like to see of me and my family, join our channel membership, $9.99 a month. You can't beat that, that's the price of one McDonald's hamburger for the whole month. Free content, exclusive content. I almost said free, exclusive personal content. Thanks for watching.